In this video, I'm going to explain to you the basics of sharing reports within Power BI service. We're going to go through the basics, how you can manage roles and manage links to make a better sharing experience. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So if you didn't know already, once you publish your reports into the Power BI service, you can share these reports to other people in your organization who have at least an account with a pro license. So how would you share a report? So here's an example of a report that I published into the service. If I wanted to share it, I will simply click the share button here. I'll simply type the person that I want to share this report to. Just an example. We'll hit send and that's it. If you added an optional message, it will be included in an email to that person with a URL linking them to that report. Any reports shared this way can be found under browse and the shared with me tab. So they will find the reports that you shared here in this section. So that's pretty much the basics of sharing. There are a few nuances that Power BI allowed us to skip. So let's go back to that share window. So let's go back to the report itself. Let's bring up the share window once more. From here, you can see that the share button essentially creates a link and you can pretty much customize what the link can do. So for example, in this case, by default, you share a link that people in your organization can view and share. This means if anyone in your organization gets the access to this link, they can view the report and reshare it to other people in your organization. So let's customize this. If you click on that window there, you will have three different options here. People in your organization, people with existing access and specific people. And under the settings bit here, you can choose to allow recipients to share this report or allow recipients to build content with data associated with this report. So now if we instead of the people in your organization, we select specific people and let's say we don't want them to be able to share. We simply just want them to view the report, hit apply that will still allow us to create a link, but the link will work for the specific people that we share it to. So if, I'm just going to pick an example here. So let's say another one for Fernand, if we hit send. So this will then generate a link and this link will be sent to those people that you specified when you created that link. So that means when people in your organization uses that link, only the specific people you have set up can see the reports and they can only view the reports in it. Every time you customize and send links to other colleagues, you generate a link which you can manage under manage permissions. It's pretty hidden, but you can see it from the share window here. So to go to manage permissions, you simply go to this more options, manage permissions, and this will bring up this window here, listing out all the links that we've created so far. So this is the first link that we generated. It's the link that is available for anyone within the organization. And this link allows them to view the reports and share the report. The second link is the specific people link, which if you simply use this one will allow only Fernand to access this report. So here you can manage all the links that you've generated for your reports. You can see them listed here. You can also edit them if you wanted to, or you can also delete them like this. So that will delete the link that you've created. You can also give people direct access to the report, which means they won't need any special links to access the report. They can simply access the report through the main URL here. 
if you click advanced it will take you to this page which allows even more options to customize who has access to these reports in the reports here you will see the links which we've created the direct access that we've set up you have the pending tab so anyone without access to any links that you've shared will have the opportunity to request access they can type why they need the access and when they hit send anyone who does this will show up here which you can approve or decline shared views are for sharing reports where you want to preserve your filters so for example if we go back to this example here in our headcount analytics if we select a different date here in our list so let's say august and let's try to share this you will see a new option available for you, include my changes. So this means when you generate this link and share it to a colleague, when a colleague opens the link, it will automatically filter the report to whatever changes you have selected. So going back to the other options here, if we just simply manage this access, you will see that you can enable or disable sharing this report and you also have this option allow recipients to build contents with the data associated with this report so what does this mean so what this does is it gives your users build permission which basically means they can access the data sets in your report and build their visuals on top of it so for example if I go back home here and I say I want to create a new report I select get data it asks you where should the data come from and if I select published data sets here any data sets that I have built permissions to will show up here even if I didn't make it as long as I have built permission now if I select let's say this data sets and hit create it will take me to this view where I can build visuals and use the data that I have already ready in that report. I can't make changes to the model, but I can create reports or my own visuals on top of it. You can see like this, for example. So that's how you can share reports in Power BI service. There are other items in the service that you can also share and they almost work the same way. Let's take an app for an example. And if you don't know what an app is, you can go check out my other video on it. But if you take this view as an example, you will notice that this app doesn't have any share options. And that's because you need to share the app from the workspace itself. So the Northwind workspace. So we need to go there, workspaces, Northwind. And here you'll need to update app which is where you'll need to control who has access to it. Under permissions, here's where you can specify who has access to it. Is it the entire organization who has access to it? And what type of access should they have to this app? So are they able to connect or have build permission to it? Or can they share this report within the organization? But what about the workspaces itself? Now, because workspaces are meant to be for collaboration rather than sharing finished dashboards or reports, it has its own user access permissions. If you created a workspace for yourself, you can manage it under the access option here. So here you can control who has access to the workspace. Access to the workspace means access to all the files you have in it dashboards, reports, datasets, and the permission type is what kind of access they have to this workspace. So here's a full table list of the type of access each permission level has. But essentially it ranges from admin, which is having full control over the workspaces, to viewer who can only view items in that workspace. And that's really it for this video. I hope you're now a little bit more familiar with how to share reports or other items within the Power BI service. Thanks for watching, as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.